Hi everyone, this is John at Sim Racing Revolution. For today, we are actually not going to drive, but I want to do my final review and thoughts on the Next Level Racing freestanding keyboard tray that we unboxed and assembled just a few weeks ago. I'm going to give you my follow-up review on it, let you know what I think, how I've been using it, and uh, how it's been holding up. So all that when we cut back. Hi everyone and welcome back. So as you can see, here is the Next Level Racing freestanding keyboard tray that we assembled just a few weeks ago. It has a mouse pad, separate tray, so we can adjust this differently and it is adjustable as far as, you know, up and down and at which direction you want it and also the tilt on both of these you can adjust. Um, it does have the very nice padded uh, tray mat, <laughs> I guess you could say. And uh, this mouse pad is really awesome also. Works really, really well. Um, so it's held up really well for me. Um, I don't know if you remember, well, if you go back to the video and take a listen or take a watch to that, you can see that these plastic parts on here was really kind of a sore spot for me because I don't like to see plastic stuff on things that I think should be durable. But in all honesty, it's held up really well. It's very thick plastic and it does a good job of keeping everything stable, as stable as you need it to be. And that's something else. If these were all metal around here, there'd be a lot of grinding on the metal and it would be flaking off with the powder coating that's on here. Uh, it just wouldn't, probably wouldn't work nearly as well. Um, so that one gripe that I did have before turns out not to be such a gripe anymore because it tends to work pretty well. Now I use strictly a wireless mouse and keyboard, so I don't have to worry about running any wires or anything like that, which is very nice. Um, and it does go right up next to my racing rig, so I can tilt the mouse in a different way that I can tilt the keyboard uh, as far as direction goes, so I can have it almost at the corner where the mouse is right below my wheel and well, not right below, but kind of off to the side a little bit. And then the keyboard is right next to me, which works out really well. I'm able to get to a hold of all of the controls that I need to get a, a, a hold of with the mouse and keyboard. Uh, really no problem, not much of a stretch at all. And it's way better than having to just set it on the floor when you're not using it. So definitely a plus there. I do other gaming as well. And I'm usually sitting in this chair. TV is right up against the wall there that I can tilt and sit here and play. Uh, but the problem is I don't have a table here because my racing rig is here. I can wheel this back, but still I can't really get a table in here to use uh, as a, you know, to hold my keyboard and mouse. So this works really, really well for that. I can actually just pull it right in close. I have my keyboard, my mouse right here. I'll actually bring it over and set it on here. And it just works perfectly. It's on a nice tilted angle. I can sit and play, do my thing like this, and it just works perfectly well. Um, really happy with it. And this can go a little bit lower too if I want it to, but right here I can see all the buttons that I need. And when you're playing video games with a keyboard, it's not like you have to really be stretching and typing a whole lot anyway. And it just works perfect, even for doing my video editing, things like that. I can move the keyboard over a little bit farther. I can put the mouse up here and I can bring over my editing, uh, you know, it's like a remote editing tool, uh, piece of hardware that I use to scrub video and things like that. It works really good for that too. So, so far, there's nothing that I, I am seeing is really wrong with it. Now, the one gripe that I did have when, when I did the video initially was, was the feet on it and the adjustability of it. Um, I still think it's an issue. I still think they could improve it an awful lot, and I think they should. But, you know, I just screwed them in as tight as they would go onto the base, and it doesn't really wobble too much where it's a problem. Um, actually, I don't notice it at all unless I go like this, and I'm like, ah, oh, it could be a little bit more stable but it's not gonna fall over and it doesn't affect me one bit when I'm playing or anything. So, uh, so, so far, so good. And, you know, I really do like the fact that these adjust in so many ways as far as the tilt this way, 
and you know the fact that you can push it in farther pull it out farther um, so whatever distance that you need it um, it'll just stay and I'm not torquing it too hard and it stays very very tight so no issues with it moving or turning on me or you know getting into a worse position than it was before it just it just tends to work so I'm pretty happy with it and uh yeah for $129 US um could it be a little bit cheaper maybe but I'm real happy with it the way it is and uh yeah I think it was probably worth the money <laughs> actually I do really think it was worth the money for the functionality that you get out of it and the nuisance that I had to go through to find my keyboard when I'm racing or when I'm just you know if I'm sitting here I have nothing to have a platform for my keyboard and mouse and something that is this small that I can move out of the way when I don't need it and just bring into the mix when I do need it and it's it's right there and it's stable and it's sturdy and I think it's worth a buy so thanks a lot for watching um, this has been my final thoughts and review on the next level racing freestanding keyboard tray it's good check it out and uh yeah look it up at next level racing so take care guys this is John at Sim Racing Revolution take care and uh keep some racing we'll talk to you next time bye-bye